we are now going to take a quick tour of the Tinkercad interface. So once you get logged in, you are brought to this dashboard for Tinkercad. If you have designed anything previously in Tinkercad under this account, you will see it located at the bottom as I do my designs. Now, a couple of them or three of them are taking a little while to load, which is not uncommon. If at any point you need to get back to this place, you can click on the Tinkercad logo in the top left corner. We are going to go ahead and start creating a new design. So we're going to click here on the blue button that says create new design. Once inside Tinkercad, we are on what we call a work plane. Now let's explore this interface. The first thing I'd like to call your attention to is the name of the file in the top left corner. These names are auto generated by Tinkercad and they can be changed and I do encourage you to change them. We also have a navigation panel. We will talk more about navigation in a later video, but if you need to, you can use this question mark to get more information about how to navigate in Tinkercad. And again, we will come back to this in a little bit. Another option you have are these menu options up here. If you click design, these are your options. Notice that there are options for download for 3D printing, also for Minecraft. We can order a 3D print or we can upload to a website called Thingiverse where there are many 3D models to, to choose from. We have edit options for when we do have an object on this work plane, which we don't right now. And we also have a help menu. In addition to these menu options, we have the panels over here on the right hand side. So if I collapse these, just so you can take a look, we have favorites, import, shape generators, helpers, components, geometric shapes, holes, letters, number, symbols, and extras. Shortcuts to these can be found up here at the top. We also have options once we have done work and once we have shapes on our work plane to undo and redo. We can adjust them, we can align and mirror, and we can group objects and we can ungroup objects. The last thing I want to call your attention to is down here in the bottom right corner. We can edit this grid. If we click edit grid, we see that we have some unit options of either millimeters or inches. Now, because we are usually designing smaller objects in 3D modeling programs, especially if we're going to 3D print them, they're more often done in millimeters. So let's go ahead and keep ours at millimeters. And we see we have a 200 by 200 millimeter uh, work plane here to do our 3D modeling. This is the default. But if we click the down arrow, we can see that we have options also for other types of machines. So for example, the MakerBot Replicator Dual has a 225 by 145 millimeter work plane from which we can build. So I'm going to leave it at the default. The other thing is the snap grid here in the bottom right corner. These are increments in millimeters that we can snap our objects to once we have them on our work plane. I'm going to leave it at the one millimeter default. So this is our Tinkercad interface.